Well, God bless you. Here we are on Thursday, and I mean, we are just flying high, having a wonderful time, and yeah, we've had struggles, and we've had bumps in the road, you know, and just got through doing a funeral today and sending a brother home to glory and just sharing with the family his uh, life legacy and, uh, you know, and how that uh, our life is told at our funeral. Many uh, will come and testify, uh, you know, as uh, how you touch their lives. Uh, you know, it could have been in the family, could have been, you know, in the community, uh, could have been in the military service, could, you know. But they, they get up and they tell what all a person did in their life. And, you know, I'm, I'm just reminded that as we are here right now, we're building our legacy. We're building right now, uh, you know, our uh, history. What's history going to say about us? And, you know, as I read about the, uh, you know, uh, the men and women in the Bible, I read about, you know, how that we see the prophets, the minor prophets, the major prophets, and how that we saw the kings. And, and you know, all of these right here, their life was, story was always, always told at the end of their life. And you read chronicles and you read the life history of ones. And I just wonder, what will they say about us uh, in the time that we live in right now? You know, did we stand up for truth? Did we stand up, you know, for uh, godly values? Did we help our brother that was in trouble? Uh, are we active in the house of God? And, and are we are we doing our part uh, to change society? You know, all these right here are building character. And, and so, you know, I look at the character of the disciples when Jesus got them. They were rough. I mean, <laughs> they were rough, as the old farmer said, rough as no corn cob. And, you know, out there, uh, Jesus saw potential in them. He just saw that, listen, I can work with these. They know what authority is. And sometimes ones that are, are in authority that don't understand authority, you can't teach them. And we're seeing that in our government today. Uh, so when we look at this right here, I just wonder, uh, you know, what would be said of us? You know, they were, they, these right here were men and women of God. They stood strong. They, they were a light in a dark place. These were right here, you know, they were salt. They were preservatives. They were, you know, keeping us, uh, into the, in the Word of God. They're keeping us strong. And, uh, you know, so I just, uh, today after doing the funeral and after going through this right here, I just begin to really, uh, you know, I begin to urge each and every one. Let's, let's take an inventory. Let's look and see where we're at and what they will say when our time comes to go home. And, you know, uh, someone said, give me my roses while I'm still alive. Don't wait till I'm dead. Well, you know, that's fine. But I, understand this right here. What I want to know is what I'm doing today, will it help change society tomorrow? And, you know, we just heard about Chick-fil-A and how that they're folding. We uh, we saw what happened to Target. We saw what happened to, uh, uh, was it Miller Lite, Bud Light, something, one of them. And out there, and, you know, and seeing that there are people standing strong and saying, listen, if you're going to go with the woke crowd and you're going to go with deception, well, listen, my legacy has to say that I resisted you. I came against you. I didn't spend my money there, and I didn't promote you. What I did was I promoted that which is of God, that which promotes life, that which promotes marriage between a man and a woman, that which promotes two genders, male and female. Uh, anything else is deception. I worked too hard for my money, and I, I just cannot allow you to take and, and have a have part of my income to support your you know your evil ways and so uh may it be said that we stood strong and because of that there's children that are being born that you know have a chance in life uh there's marriages taking place that we see that they're gonna they're gonna produce children that that's gonna help the population that we're gonna see you know we're gonna see the body of Christ grow. So I just encourage you uh, with this right here. Take an inventory of where you're at right now and ask yourself, do I need to make changes? Do I need to take the right path and get off the, the wrong path? Do I need to make that turnaround? I've been going the wrong direction. I'm going to make that little loop, that little turnaround, and I'm going to start going down the right path. I love my brother. I'm going to take and stand strong for the value of truth. 
I'm going to stand strong when it comes to school boards, when it comes to city council, holding them accountable, uh, you know, to the laws of the land that promote the will of God. And I'm not out, and I say this constantly, I'm not out to make friends with the world. I'm out to stay a friend of God. And, you know, we got to live in the world, but we don't have to live like the world. And so we want ones to know that we love them, enough to preach the truth and the gospel to them. So just think about this right here and, and you know, and then make a, a conscious decision. Just say, you know what, today, yeah, I need to turn around. Today I need to make plans to get back active in the church. I need to get back active in witnessing, and, and I need to get back in prayer ministry. You know what I'm talking about. I need to get back and promote the kingdom of heaven. So think about that, okay? All right, go serve your king. We love you. We're at 3310 Florence Road here in Colleen. Come out and see us Sunday morning, 1045. At, uh, Thursday we're at 7 o'clock. All right, God bless you. We love you.